ISL 20000, is, with regards to configuration management and change management, recognises that these two areas of the standard interface with everything else that goes on. Configuration management can be seen to be too specific. It can get to too, level, too low a level of a detail. Be very careful when you're doing this because there is no need whatsoever to say that every single keyboard has to be a configuration item. But what we do expect to see from a point of view of the standard is that you can con show control over configuration items. Change management interfaces with configuration uh, management because when you make a change, what impact does it have on the rest of the service that you're delivering? What impact does it have on the uh, items, the configuration items that you've got in the configuration management database? And how does that all interface with each other when it comes to release management, to incident management, to budgeting? So there's a significant connection with these two areas. The reason that configuration management and change management is central to this standard is that you do not, as an organisation, when you're implementing this standard, treat it lightly. It, they are two very, very significant elements of this standard. With configuration management, um, I would like to just sort of explain to, to certain organisations that it doesn't have to be finished and complete for certification. Configuration management is something that will be ongoing. It can't be finished and done. It has to be something that is looked at over and over again and it has to be completely linked to the change management process. Configuration management has to be at the beginning and then part of all processes because you don't know if you unplug something what effect that has on any other system in your organisation. With configuration management identifying areas and actually putting everything down to marrying a system then you can actually see what, what is involved in actually turning off that plug. So people need to really identify that first. With change management, obviously a lot of organisations would have a change control board, a change management process. Get senior management once in a while to go in to that change control board, sit in the meeting, make sure that their involvement is still part and parcel of the implementation of service management.